everyone, this is Kara from iStampin.com. I thought that I would show you the um, brand new, um, I got my addresses right here. Um, the brand new storage by Stampin' Up. I just, uh, I overnighted it, UPS just dropped it off. Um, so I thought that I would unbox it while y'all, and my address is showing, but it's no big deal. It's online. So I'm not going to worry about it. So I thought that it would be fun to see how it all comes. This is, I'm just opening this up and I've got some other things here. So let me take this other stuff out that I ordered along with it. Oh, those are the top ones. Okay. So let's see. I got um, the Stampin' Blend storage. I really, yikes. I'm going to put this box down here. I didn't know how much to get because um, what I plan on doing is, uh, I think I'm going to use it here on the desk that um, I do all my recording. So I got a Stampin' Blend storage, an ink pad, and marker storage. Um, the open storage. See, I got two of those of the open storage. And then the lids. Okay, so let's open these up. Let's see what these are. So these are brand new. They just became available yesterday. So, um, demonstrators and customers are able to order these now, which is wonderful. And the thing that I liked about this is that um, they're modular. So, you know, if something's working for you and then a month later, you're like, uh, I kind of need to change it around, you can. So this is the ink pad and marker storage. And this is just one, I just received one of these. So this holds five ink pads and your stamp and write markers. And so what I thought for this is, um, that I would use it, you know, just with like the current ink pads that I'm, you know, working on with the project. So let me show you how this works. And um, I'm just doing this off the cuff. So I'm not really, oh, this is nice. See right here? Oh, that's really nice. So these ink pads are, they're not going anywhere. You have this little thing right here that keeps it in place. And then you have these two little plastic pieces right here that are keeping it in place. So those ink pads, oh, that, I love that. So there's no shifting. There's no like fall, like, you know, falling around. So that's a wonderful design. I love that. Let me get some markers. So if y'all have any questions about these, um, just put them in the comments and I'll, I'll do my best to answer them. So then that, whoops, sorry guys. So that's what it looks like with the markers in there. And I'm hoping that I'm doing an okay job showing y'all this. So the markers have like a little a little um, notch as well, like a little, kind of like a little valley. I don't know what you want to call it. But they um, slide right into there and they're not going anywhere. And then I also ordered the topper lid. So let's see about this. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I was like, what's this foam? So that's just protecting it. And then that just goes right on top of there. Let's see, how does this, oh, there we go. And it has the nice little Stampin' Up! logo right there. So it really makes it a clean looking unit. But, and then if you wanted to, you can like, you know, place, like this is the project that I did. Um, over last week so you could like put a project right there or here's you know so you have like a little bit of um, space right there as well 
but I love that. So what I'm thinking, and I may, um, I may go, well, I have a project for this afternoon, so I definitely want to do that, but I may show y'all how, um, I have it on my desk because, um, right now my, my iPhone is on the, uh, is on my Archon Mountain, so I don't want to like move that all around. So, so this is the ink and marker storage, and it comes five. You get five um, slots, ink pad and marker storage. So this piece right here, this is fourteen dollars, and then the lid is three dollars. So this is seventeen dollars right here if you did that. But it holds five ink pads and five markers. So that's really nice. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that right there. Let's do the next thing. Um, this is the open storage. So I'm not quite, I'm, I'm not, I wasn't, I don't really know what I'm thinking about this for the open storage. Um, I like the idea, oh, this is neat. And these are some little um, silicone feet that you can put, oh, okay, I didn't show you this on the other one. So these little silicone feet will, um, let me see, I'm sure it has it on this one too, let me. Yeah, there you go. So you have this little, um, these little round silicone pieces that you'll just take the double-sided sticky tape off and just put them right there. Um, if you have a surface that these are going to slip around. So I'm, I know, I don't know if I'm going to use those. I don't know. We'll have to see. But anyway, so this is the open storage. Um, this is $10. And what I liked about this is, um, in the marketing material, uh, you can use our half size wide stamp cases or whatever we call these. So that fits in there like that. Um, or you can, um, like I have a, a ribbon holder, but it's not long enough so it doesn't hold all my ribbon so I kind of have it stacked up. So you can um, use this for ribbon as well. So this one's really versatile. It gives you a lot of, um, just a lot of choices. And then again, I got a lid. So I got two of these. So I got two of the open storage pieces. And, um, you know, if, uh, if I don't, if, if I don't need all these pieces on my desk, then I can definitely uh, put them elsewhere and look like this can, this can stack. I'm, I'm going to have to like change my, change my, so here, I'll put it on its side. So you can do it that way. And it's nice because there's these little grooves that these pieces fit into and this is really nice quality guys this isn't whoops hold on okay I know this is a failure because I'm trying to show it to y'all on its side or you can even stack them up like that there we go so you can so you can use this open storage for a variety of things So let me do it this way so you can get the idea. So this is how it stacks. So you can do it that way. So you can have this be one of the ways to put it together like so. <laughs> I know this is kind of crazy. I like putting the ribbon like that. That's actually pretty easy. Okay, so there's one. And then let me show you. The cats are loving the box, the box, all these pieces. So with this, I would only need one top or one top lid. 
Okay, so let me go ahead and separate this again. Okay, and then this is the um, stamp and blend storage. And again, I have a, a unit um, off to my side for my Stampin' Blends, but I was just thinking when I'm working and, you know, filming videos and things like that, it's just kind of nice to have it all put away instead of like rolling all around and, you know, if you hear all of the banging things that I dropped during the videos, this will just be, this will just be so nice. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this holds 30 markers, this one piece. So this is, um, this is $14 as well. So the blend storage and the ink pad storage is 15, uh, $14. I'm sorry if I said 15, $14. Let me get some markers so we can just see what this looks like. They fit really nice. You can tell this was designed for, the, especially for the blends. Oops. So you can see there. They stick out really far, so they're easy to grab. And let's put, um, so this is, I, this is my other lid. I just love that this was all designed for our products in mind, you know. That's just, look at that, so how easy is that? So let's see, so we could do this. We can stack them this way. If you wanna do the markers and the blends together, there's just so many, there's just so many different ways you can stack all these up, which I love. That's what I love about this. This is what I was just so excited about, just the, the, the opportunity to, Okay, so if if this way this one way is is working for me, then a month later I'm like, you know what? I want to put I want to put these two together or something like that. You just have all those options. Um, somebody may wonder how big these are. So let's see here. All three of these are all the same height, which is really nice. So each box is. Just a little over five inches. So they're a little over five by five. And whoops, if you have the lid, okay, let me, let me use this one. If you have um, this lid on top of the five stacked trays, it's uh, almost, what is that, four and three eighths tall? So it's five by five, and then with this lid, four and three eighths. If you don't have the lid, then it's just about, about four and an eighth inches tall. So that gives you an idea there. So this, if you just get one of these, this holds 30 markers, and then this holds um, five ink pads and five stamp and write markers, and then these lids are separate. Just so y'all know. And I think that that's all the pieces that I, oh no, I take that back. I did get one more. I got the topper storage. So, so let's take the lid off of this. And this, um, the topper storage, um, I think they had in mind is for you to use this for your re-inkers. Um, Kind of like how our color caddy was, how the very top, um, you were, you had like a storage place for your re, re, your reinkers. Let me see if I can. Re oh. Let's say I had to remember where I put all my reinkers. So I'm not sure how many you can put in here. Let's. I guess we can just experiment. Um, I don't think I'm going to use them for the re-inkers. I think I'm going to use them more like for like glue and stuff like that. Kind of, I don't use my re-inkers a whole lot. 
so it's easier just to put those away. Um, let's see. That's tight, so we'll, we'll take this one out. Okay, so let's see. We got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. If I counted that right, that's 22 bottles in there. So you can see that holds quite a bit. So it's either, you know, around it, uh, definitely uh, 20 bottles easily. So you can see, so that's really nice. Um, the lip is tall enough that these aren't gonna like tip over unless you had like, if, if unless you don't have it full, like this one. But I really think that's, that is uh, a nice size. Let me take these out. What I was thinking is to, you know, put glue, um, you know, snail, maybe an acrylic block or two. Uh, let's see, it can even hold, you know, you can even put some scissors, just kind of like a little catch-all. That's kind of what I envisioned. I may, I may get another one of these. I probably should have gotten two of these. But I really like this. I like this. Oh, and then again... Um, I don't know why you would do it, but you could. Uh, maybe not. Nope, I'm wrong. I was going to say you could probably put a lid on there, but no, you can't. So this is meant to stay open, so you can't put um, a lid on there, which makes sense because then that would kind of defeat the purpose. That was the topper storage. Yeah. And then you can, um, let's see here. If you wanted to. Can take that. Whoops. And you don't have to have all five of these stacked up if you only need like two of them. Um, like for me, like you know, I may only need two or three of these on my de on the desk where I do my uh, my videos, so I can put the other ones um, elsewhere. So I just love the. Like I said, I just love how modular they are. And the versatility so that's what that looks like so this is the open storage box with the open storage topper really nice plastic it's thick it um, has a little bit of texture to it I don't know if that's coming across uh, hopefully you can see that but um, they are smooth on the inside, the texture is just on the outside. And you can see here where this little lip is, and then it has this little groove here. So that's how it interlocks with the piece above. I just kind of had to bend out one side. So you can see how seamless that looks when they're, when they're stacked up together. So, um... I love it. I love these pieces. The price point is fabulous. If anybody has looked at Stampin' Storage um, or other modular pieces, um, you know, they're, they're pricey. Uh, I think this is a great price point. Um, it's very affordable. It allows you to get, I mean, I just bought, you know, very little. I just bought one of each. The only thing that I bought multiples of was the lid and the open storage. And um, it was... So it was 14, 28, 48, 48. So 54 for all these pieces. To hold 30 markers, five ink pads. I mean, like this is the, I mean, this is this is a game changer to be able to hold 30 markers in such a compact, um, uh, slim line, you know, very ergonomic, very slim line. I think that's that's fabulous. So um I don't see any questions. Um, I know that, you know, we, this just came out yesterday, so I may, uh, you know, be one of the first people showing this off. Um, so, you know, if you, if you have questions as you see more people demonstrating this or whatever, or, you know, or if you are interested in, um, the storage by Stampin' Up, um, here's my website. Just head on over to istampin.com. I did a blog post about it yesterday. I do have a host code for the month of April, so if you use this host code, you will receive receive a free gift from me 
in um, in May. And uh, if your order's $150 or more, you don't want to use the host code because you will forfeit your Stampin' Rewards. So don't do that. But um, I love it. I highly recommend this, guys. If y'all follow me, you know I'm not going to lead you astray. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Um, not tell you my, my honest opinion. Uh, this is really, really nice. I think y'all are going to really like this, especially if you need some help with getting your um, stamping supplies organized where, you know, you're just not constantly looking for things. I think this is going to really, really help you out. I love this. I love, I mean, this is going to be so much fun to play around with all of this stuff and to figure out, okay, what can I, how can I organize it now? So, um, I really think uh, Stampin' Up! has, they thought long and hard about this, that you can tell they weren't, they weren't, you know, they didn't rush this product out just so that they could say, hey, we have some storage. They really thought long and hard about this. You can tell by the design, just with everything. Um, I love the ink pads, how this thing does not move anywhere. So once your ink pad is in there, it's not going to slide all the way to the back. It's easy to grab with your fingers. The same thing with the blends. They did a, they did a great job um, thinking about the design. So if y'all have any questions, um, just let me know. And uh, there is a little Q&A. Um, so if there's some questions that I can't answer for you, I'll try to do my research and, um, and, and get, that, get that to you. But um, I hope you liked this. And I can't wait to show you what I do with this. So I'm going to be coming on live a little bit later today. And hopefully by that time, um, I'll have this set up. I'll, I'll um, have some things in there. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this here on my desk that I use for uh, making the videos. And I think that's it. All right, guys. See you later this afternoon. Bye-bye.